We're talking to Kristen Helsel, and she's doing interesting work with uh, electric car charging. And tell me about uh, your company and what it's doing in that field. So AeroVironment is um, right now involved in all sorts of things. We call our group EV Solutions. And so our purpose is to enable the practical adoption of electric vehicles, uh, not only in the United States, but around the world. And to that end, we, we make things that go on board electric vehicles, things like onboard chargers and battery management systems. We're also involved in battery testing. And then we make all of the chargers that will be on road and in home and in, in front of uh, stores near you, level one, level two, and level three chargers. Is this becoming a fairly crowded field? I mean, you have players like Kaloom and Better Place and uh, um, uh, e Ecotality. There's a number of different players in this field. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons the uh, Department of Energy seems to have pick the technology, which is battery cars over hydrogen, even though Congress is now restoring hydrogen funding. Um, what, what do you think? Do you think that we're really getting off the ground now and finally solving the chicken and egg problem with, with EV charging? Well, having been around in the space 20 years ago and sort of watched the progression of battery technology, I think we, we have today sort of um, a synergistic opportunity that includes uh, climate commitment, you know, and an interest in uh, climate issues, an interest in uh, fuel issues, you know, even even if fuel prices aren't as high as they were, there's been quite a bit of fluctuation. I think there's an interest in having an alternative uh, technology. I think that batteries and battery uh, technologies are there in terms of being ready for vehicles. And I think you have a uh, political will around this that didn't exist before. And finally, with the, with the stimulus funds that have come out recently, I think what you have is stimulus funds have stimulated uh, municipalities and utilities and all of the stakeholders in this EV opportunity to really get themselves organized and to begin to pursue uh, this EV revolution that's coming. I personally, having been in the auto industry since, well, a long time, can say that I've never seen such energy around a single technology. I think every car maker worldwide has one, if not multiple, EV platforms, not as concepts, but actually underway. I think it, it seems to me, I love the concept of fast charging at big box stores and say, uh, you know, Home Depot or Basically, you can get charged in the time it gets, takes you to get a, a, a latte from Starbucks. Do you think that will definitely take off? I think fast charging will definitely take off, and I think where you're going to charge in general is going to be more opportunistic. Today, you go to a gas station to fill up with gas. What will happen in the future is you will be able to charge your vehicle at home. You might be able to charge your vehicle at work charge your vehicle while you play or while you shop, so maybe while you golf or, or while you're at the mall. I think you could charge your vehicle while you get a latte or charge while you stop at a store, to, a big box store to pick something up. And I think finally, one area that you'll charge a lot is a gas station or a, a service station or a service plaza. We have all of this infrastructure. It's naturally designed to allow you to um, get some chips or, or a hamburger uh, and use a restroom, and all of that can take place in the few minutes it takes you to fast charge. Okay, one final question, a little bit of prognostication. If we were to look forward to 2020, how many EVs and plug-in hybrids will be on the road, like as a percentage? I think certainly by 2015, we have every opportunity to achieve President Obama's goal of a million EVs on the road. And I think if we make that, we'll have reached the tipping point that will allow us to have many millions of EVs on the road by 2020. Thank you, Kristen. You're welcome, Jim.